eyes of ours all along. To be born into a false reality, to grow up in it, and to die in it, without ever approaching the truth. It's the Matrix. That's the life of somebody in the Matrix. Of course it is. I think you're the last person. Here. You're probably already aware of this. Yes, ancient technology. You're able to invo avoid being made to this day. We don't have the power to attack Solaris either. It's a stalemate. Basically, we've just been glaring at each other. It's the Cold War all over again. But this time, there be slaves. What's up, lady? But that's not necessarily specific to this. It kind of happens all the time. Right. How long does it have to last? Forever! What's up? Tactical command room? This sounds like where I need to go. Right. Um, sure. They found everything. What didn't they find? Hold on for one second. Sorry, I'm paranoid about background noise right now, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Right. Is the 12 anima relics created by God's wisdom. 12 anima relics? That doesn't sound familiar at all. Yes. The merging of an anima relic and a gear can produce an omni gear. Sounds important. But the subjects must be in suitable synchronization or else the transformation will not occur. Some of the animal relics have been discovered, but there are still more left undiscovered, sleeping deep within the earth. Even we have been devoting much to the search, but to no avail. How do you guys know all this? How do you know there are twelve? The power of the Omnigears was so great that they could even hold back Diabolos' collapse 500 years ago. If any more of these fall into the hands of the enemy, our future and even those of the land dwellers will be. We require your assistance. Of course you do. We must get those animal relics. Fine, I'll talk to the freaking Choo Choo. Oh, he has something important to say. Yes, they were created by God's wisdom. I wonder if that is truly the case. All in all, that unit was meant to merge with something inorganic. That would be the proper assumption. It's foolish of humans. Damn it, you have the same speech impediment. Forget what I said! No. Never. So it's the tactical room where they're like, We need to find it! Oh yeah, we should sit here and talk about it forever. Balthazar has strongly told Maria not to leave Shavat under any circumstances. That child would immediately try to fly off to Solaris all by herself to rescue her captured father riding on the side end. She probably would. Probably would. As of now, many of us consider her to be the guardian angel of Shavat. Thank God for the ten-year-old. No, no, I did the math. She's 10. Fine, whatever, she's 13. Damn you and your logic game. She said five years ago I was five. I'm 13 now. You and your Shavat people cannot do math. Oh, I found science. What's up, sciencey person? Right, they had bitter experiences, there, so they decided to do some work on the lambs. They inserted various limiters so that they would never be able to revolt for the past 500 years. Ooh, they controlled their consciousness. That's not good. Lambs don't know anything about it. That's what makes it even more unforgivable. It is very effective. Nobody seems to know about Solaris. Except for us, because they won't stop talking about it. Their objectives are genetic engineering, crossbreeding, and mind control. Isn't that everybody's... Objective. Right. Of course. What? Collecting combat data? Then this war that's lasted for hundreds of years on the Ignis continent. It was just a farce plot by Solaris. Ethos. 
supervise? The land dwellers? Like domestic animals? Then I was. It's not a farce. To them, it's an important simulation under strict restrictions. Creating appropriate organisms that can align themselves with the animal relic is one of their important objectives. So they're trying to make people? What? In any case, the lambs will come right. So somebody stops them. That would be us. Sweet. So yes, uh, basically what he said is, well, starting to add stuff together here. Um, the animal relics, right? Without those, uh, you can't make an Omni Gear, which is awesome, and it's better than all the other gears. In order to do that, you need a certain person, um, probably with a certain genetic structure or something like that. So uh, Solaris is trying to make those kind of people. The limiter restrains the lamb's abilities. But there may be a way to remove it. Tora Melchior. Melchior, yes. He used to be one of the three sages of the Bible. And Shavad as well, I guess. He must know a way to remove the limiter. Of course he does. He's freaking Melchior. The whereabouts of the three sages Melchior, Balthazar, and Gaspar have not been known since the Great War. Wait, they're over 500 years? Oh, of course they are, they're sages, what am I saying? There's even a rumor that they lost faith in humans because of the tragedy in Nissan. What? What tragedy in Nissan? Where are they now? We found one of them! Should we go try to talk to him? A man named Krellian was the mastermind behind the planting of the limiter in the lamb. So he's over 500 years old, too? Or... Uh, he learned it from Melchior, of course. Right. So, apparently, many, many people are very, very old. And everything stems back to the war. The war. So, that I went down a little bit further than I wanted to, but that's okay. Uh, what's over here? Further down is the prison. It hasn't been used for several hundred years, though. There's anything worth seeing. Right. I went into your prison. Uh, I don't. I don't think I like the sound of this. It's very quiet. It has kind of like the the dungeon type music. This is where we keep the criminals in their cells. It's been said that soldiers from Solaris were locked up in here long ago. I've heard we'd even done many atrocious things at that time. Wars like that it abolishes good and bad. One betrays friends, neighbors, even his own flesh and blood. Wars turn. War turns even good, kind humans into crazed monsters. No! It can't be! Oh, snap, I missed somebody. Let's go back and talk to her. What is up? Lady. This is a carbonite gauge that petrifies humans alive. Oh my god, Star Wars reference for the win. It is still heinous, no matter how you look at it. They've sure thought of cruel things. By the way, you land dwellers know about the Nissan tragedy during the Great War? No. Nope. I doubt they told you these old men politely avoid talking about it. Do they think the truth will disappear if they turn away from the past? Bunch of fools. Be careful, land dweller. You'll have a terrible time if you open up your heart to those old men. Just like they did in Nissan 500 years ago. So, what if I said yes? Yeah, Carbonite Cage, of course. Well, you know. Friggin' Han Solo. Whatever. Uh, if I say yes, what do you say? Yeah, they told me. I'm surprised they told you. So you know what it is, don't you? Don't believe everything those old men say. Nothing good will come of it. Damn you! <laughs> tell me what happened. She refuses to tell me. Oh, something over here. What's, what's over here in your prison? Oh... This this looks like some kind of scientific experiment room or torture room, something like that. This is a machine created to put brutal criminals, dangerous monsters, to sleep. It isn't expected to be used again, but it is ready in time, just in case. Anyone who has no business here should leave. Get out right now! No, I jump on your computers. Can I? I want to be put to sleep. I have insomnia. Damn you! Just wanted to go to sleep. So what's further? I guess we're just going to keep going down. There's got to be an end to the prison somewhere, right? Oh, this looks like it. 
This is where this is this is the seventh circle of prison. Who who was kept here? That woman was definitely here. There was no other alternative but to be a captive. Captive. We could have won at the cost of many sacrifices. Only if that traitor hadn't have disappeared with the woman, the escaped one, and freed the beast. The beast sucked human blood and ate their flesh and tore the world apart. Since then, people have found themselves groping in the dark. They've been atoning for their crime for five hundred years. I want to, I want to you to be careful, young one. Don't follow the same path as the traitor drowning in hatred and love. What? what the hell? Nobody wants to tell me what the hell's going on. I'm used to very vague cutscenes. I am not used to very vague NPCs. What the hell are you guys talking about? Tell me what happened in Nissan. Who the hell is this traitor? And why are you scared that I will end up like this traitor? These are very important questions, damn it. And they're not answering them. So let's go down here. That great war, 500 years ago. I can remember it like it was yesterday. So you're over 500 years too? <sighs> what the hell, game? Many lives were lost. Much love, many dreams, friends. Those irreplaceably important things in our lives were scarred and left to bleed. Are those days going to return once again? I don't want my children or grandchildren to go through that nightmare. They might if they lived to be 500. Humans are truly unusual living beings. Yeah. They're all like shattered fragments of a mirror. Okay. You're, you're trying to be deep, but you lost me. Uh. Is this the carbonite people? What's up, dude? You've been flying up in the sky, right? Right. Can't just go and get all our own supplies either. We made it this far somehow, but if the situation continues like this. We'd better do something. We'd better pull a Wally -E and just go back to Earth eventually. Can I want. There's nothing in there. This month is going to be very tight, too. We must cut down on rations that are little to make it. Everyone will probably gripe about that. What am I gonna do? 